Welcome. I am delighted that you are open to the concept of inner child work. The psychological term inner child surfaced in the 1960s with the work of Dr. Eric Byrne, the psychiatrist that developed transactional analysis. You may not be familiar with the term inner child, but there are many other terms that are used, such as making the unconscious conscious, embracing our emotional self, inner family dialogue, the family in our heads, reparenting ourselves, loving ourselves. You choose the term that works best for you. Before we move into the process of meeting, connecting with our inner child, please make yourself physically comfortable and use a relaxation process that takes you deep into calm. If you don't have one, take a look at my previous video called How to Discover Your Place of Inner Peace. If you're ready, let's go. Make sure you are comfortable and move into your place of inner peace. When we were children, we often experienced painful or traumatic events while not having the resources to debrief and assimilate the experiences. The events often triggered unconscious beliefs and memories that were stored in our bodies. Eckhart Tolle refers to the body memory while Peter Levine's book is called The Body Keeps the Score. Here, we will call it the inner child. Notice if feelings of fear or curiosity or love surface. Notice if you harden or soften when imagining your inner child entering your awareness. Notice if your inner child is a familiar part of you or whether this meeting is different or uncomfortable. The word for the feeling or emotion is not as important as noticing your body sensations or images that may rise. If disturbances rise in your emotions and body, inhale and remind yourself of your anchor word that brings you to your place of inner peace. Now, from the back of your mind, allow an image of your inner child to surface. Merely notice whatever comes. A faint figure, a photograph, maybe a child you don't recognize, a baby, a teen, a little child who smiles and runs to you, or a child who looks scared or even ignores you. As you notice this child, notice your body, and if any feelings surface. Notice if you have tried to ignore or forget this part of you your time of being a vulnerable child. Notice if you have denied, criticized, or judged this child of your past. Sense what emotions might be evoked in you. This is or ease ashamed or pleased, strict or delighted, indifferent or curious, impatient or patient, judgmental or accepting, critical or appreciative, distant or affectionate, or even loving. Notice if any memories surface of the adults, your parents, 
or caretakers expressing similar feelings. Realize that these feelings did not begin with you. They were passed on to you. You can keep them or let them go. Sense if these feelings and attached beliefs are true for your inner child. Notice if now, as an adult, they serve you and make your life better. Just notice. Invite the child to be with you. Notice your inner child's response. Notice if your inner child as yet trusts you to see, hear, and acknowledge unconditionally. Just notice all is well. Explain that this is a special place, a place of inner peace. Here you feel, think, and do what you wish. Your inner child may have been forced to pretend in the past. Here, it is important for inner experiences to be seen, accepted, and validated. Let the voice of your inner child, your emotional self, speak to you. Notice if your inner child is trusting and ready for a new experience. If your inner child is not ready, just notice. You will create another time where you can invite your inner child to join you in your place of inner peace. Notice if your inner child does speak to you or does come closer to you. Just notice. Listen. Invite your inner child to be touched, hugged, or held on your lap. Feel the warmth and weight of the child's body, its size compared to your adult self. Notice your inner child's hand, skin, hair, and facial expressions. Notice if any feelings surface in your adult self or in your inner child. Just notice. If your inner child came to you quickly and easily, express your interest, support, and love. You might say something like, the adults in your life did the best they could, and you did not get everything you need. I want to love you. I want to learn from you. I want to give you what you need to do and to be your best. Notice your inner child's response. If your inner child feels confused or scared, say something like, I want to help you and love you. I will protect you. I want to know what you want and need. If your inner child's response is feelings of comfort, curiosity or excitement, say something like, I look forward to loving, protecting, and seeing you bloom into all you want to be. Give your inner child a name, such as Little Patsy. 
That's my inner child's name. Check with your inner child. Is your inner child willing to come and be present in your everyday life? If so, imagine tucking the essence of your lovable inner child in your heart, your chest, the palm of your hand, or wherever you choose. Inhale that essence, this part of you, to be present in you. You can become aware of and attend to your inner child when needed. Have a sense of the presence of your inner child. As your time together in this place of inner peace ends, remember that whatever you have noticed, your memories, thoughts, body sensations, feelings are now part of you. Your inner child is a part of you. You will increasingly come to know, trust, and help each other. If the presence of your inner child becomes weak during daily busyness, you can return to your place of inner peace to reinforce your commitment to your self-discovery. Begin to notice your breath. Inhale some energizing breaths, deep in and deep out. Count to three, and as you exhale on number three, open your eyes. Welcome back. I hope your time with your inner child was delightful if not tender. If it was distressful, please consider reaching out to a helping professional to help you better connect with that tender past of yours. If you are in extreme distress right now, please call your local distress center. Volunteers are waiting to support you. Now, you can say this is a bunch of hooey and I'm not going to engage in this kind of nonsense again. That's your choice. But my experience is that if you're willing to do the work of befriending your inner child, that is yourself. You will be better t able to self-regulate your emotions. You will have more of yourself to give to others and life will be full of wonder. Please, I know you have gifts to give. Get yourself together so you can give more to the world. That's it for now.